hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. And today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own DIY molds. They can get really pricey, I mean really pricey, and you're limited to only that one mold that you just bought. I'm going to show you how you can take objects that you probably already have in your craft room or in your house and turn them into beautiful molds for your DIY projects. Okay, we got lots of work. I'm gonna head out to the shed. Come on, let's get started. Okay, if you have never made silicone molds before, put it on your to-do list. These are amazing. You're gonna need 100% clear silicone. And I picked this up at my hardware store and the caulking gun, they're, it's, they're not that expensive. And you can get a lot of molds out of one Thing of caulking. Now I haven't put a whole lot of silicone in this first one because I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'm incorporating cornstarch into the silicone. I'm doing it in just a scrap bowl that we're never going to use in the kitchen again. This is in my craft room in my shed and you're going to incorporate that cornstarch into the silicone. I like to use a fork, not my fingers yet, until it kind of feels like pizza dough. You want to be making sure you're doing this in a really well ventilated area. The silicone is really stinky and you might even want to put a mask on. Make sure you have your doors and windows open. I'm in my shed, the windows are open, the door is open, and I have lots of ventilation coming through. Now, I like to color mine, just makes them look pretty. I've just added a little bit of gel food coloring. If you just want a white silicone mold, then you don't have to do this step. So I mixed the mold all together until it felt like pizza dough. I put it in a ball and now I'm gonna roll it out. I have these slats, they're two slats put together from an old shutter and I like to use them so when you're rolling, you have the consistent width all the way through. So there's so many things that you can use to make molds out of. These are just a few ideas. These are some pulls off of a dresser and they have an intricate pattern in them and I think they're gonna transfer into the silicone mold really nicely. I have some buttons. They are just ones that I picked up at the dollar store and I'm gonna push them in. You wanna use as much of the silicone as you can. If you're already mixing it up, you wanna get as many molds out of one as you can. Okay, I've set that one aside. Now let's mix up another one incorporating that cornstarch into that clear silicone. And I had some blue coloring left over from the last one, so I'm just gonna incorporate that into it too. It'll give it a nice pale blue color. As you can see, it's starting to form a ball, it's starting to kind of come together, mix till it's like pizza dough. Put in a little bit more cornstarch, and then once we get to this point, I'm going to use my hands and form it into a ball. You wanna make sure you have your hands really coated well with the cornstarch too. And if you start mixing it too soon with your hands, you're gonna be in a mucky mess. So you just have to maybe play around with it a few times until you get the hang of it. And of course, I'm making this and I didn't take my rings off. Please remember if you wanna make this stuff to take your rings off because I'm still pulling silicone out of them. I've also tried to make the silicone molds wearing gloves. It didn't work, it stuck and it was in a horrible mess too. So I just use my hands and that works the best for me. And I'm just gonna roll this all out. Now I have tried the other recipe using dish soap and I didn't have much success. So I always come back to the cornstarch one and it works wonderful. I just did a stamp. That's gonna imprint really well. I love this door pull and it's so intricate and has so many swirls in it. I'm excited to see how this one's going to turn out. And you just wanna gently push it into the mold until it just starts to come up over the edges. This is a piece of hardware, probably off some sort of a dresser and it's just missing the knob, but it was really intricate. Again, I'm really excited to see how this one's gonna turn out. Just gently pushing it until it just sits down into the silicone. So here's a look at some of the different objects that I used to make into silicone molds. I'm gonna let these dry. It's probably gonna take a couple hours and then we're gonna unmold them. So this has been a couple hours. This is all dry and you can see how this imprinted. It's beautiful. And this is the stamp. And you just wanna carefully just peel away and pull that stamp out. It'll come out quite easy if you just take your time. And I'm 
always amazed when I pull these apart how much detail you get. And this one is beautiful. I love it. This is just a dollar store snowflake that I picked up at Christmas time and you can see how detailed it is. It's going to make a beautiful uh, imprint. And these are the knobs. This one didn't come, it's a little bit faint and this one just had an outer circle but they still worked really well. The little circle and our button was really detailed. Now this one might be my favorite one. It was just from the dollar store and it's just a little frame but it had a beautiful floral edge on it and I knew it would imprint really nice and I'm just going to really carefully peel it out of there but look at the detail in that. Just gorgeous. This piece of hardware we're just going to peel it off and you can see how fun this will be to use. I love using air dry clay and then add these to any any sort of DIY project. And we're going to peel the big door pull off and look at the swirl in that. Just gorgeous. Okay, I just tried this one for fun. I've seen other people do it. I pressed the cookie too hard. It actually worked really well, but it cracked and even the crack imprinted. So now I'm gonna show you how I love to use these silicone molds. I just dust them with a little bit of cornstarch and then I'm just pressing that air dry clay. This is air dry clay that I picked up at the dollar store, but you can find it at any craft store and they all work fantastic. You just wanna make sure you've got it pressed in nice and well and then take off the extra. You can use a little knife or you can just use your fingers to peel away the extra um, clay. And once we have the back all smoothed out, you're going to just pick up that and you can just peel it away and you're gonna be left with this gorgeous piece of clay. And I just take my fingers, just smooth it out around the edges and you can set it aside, let it dry and incorporate it into your DIY projects. Next one I'm gonna do is this fun cookie one. Of course, it needs to be done again. I just pressed it too hard when I put it into the mold and it cracked the cookie, but if I didn't, it would have been really cool. We're just going to press in that air dry clay and then smooth it out on the back. And then we're gonna pick up that silicone mold. And the nice thing about these molds is they're flexible. They're not really hard. So you, when you wanna pop out that clay, it's really easy to do. Just gonna work at the one corner. Be careful, you don't distort it. and you can see it is so intricate and it even picked up where that crack was. And let's see how these ones turned out. These were the buttons and the doorknobs and this one is good too. It would be good to put in the four corners of a project and the button is almost kind of looked like it turned out a little bit like a teardrop. But again, I like to smooth out the outside of it. You can trim away with a knife if you need to. And this one even imprinted not too bad. I didn't think it was gonna show up very much, but it worked really well. And the button is beautiful. Now this big drawer pull, dusting it with some cornstarch. We're gonna put in the air dry clay. I like to roll it in a uh, the length of the actual mold and then press it in. And you wanna press quite firm, like I said before, right out to the edges, making sure it's nice and smooth in the back. And you can actually flip it over and press it and that will make it nice and flat also. And then we're just gonna pick it up and peel it out and set it aside and let it dry. So after watching this video, I know you're gonna be going through your drawers and through your stash, seeing if you have stuff that will imprint really well into these silicone molds because it's addicting. I love using these as embellishments on any of my DIY projects. I've added them onto my signs and glued them on after they were dried. I've put them on glass bottles and jars and it always looks beautiful. And this one is really gorgeous too. I'm loving the uh, intricate flower pattern in the middle. The snowflake, that one's going to be really great at Christmas time. I can make turn it into an ornament. I can make them into gift tags. I can add it onto a wooden snowflake sign. Um, you just have to get really creative and see how you can incorporate these into your projects. I really like using stamps too. You're really limited to what you can use the stamps for. So when you can also turn them into molds, it makes it a lot of fun. And you just want to carefully peel it out. Now, when I make these, I can trim all that extra clay off around the side and um, it works really well. This one, the frame, 
it's going to take a lot of clay. It's actually quite a big mold. So I'm going to fill it right up, flatten it out on the back. And this is really intricate and turns out beautiful. So if you've never made silicone molds, put it on your to-do list and get rooting through your stash and see what you can find to imprint with. And I'm working on a video right now using the silicone mold that I used the dollar store frame from. So stay tuned for that. So let me know down in the comments if you've ever made this type of silicone mold before. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two. Take care.